When we want to insert new content inside a website using JavaScript, we can do so in a couple of different ways. In the last episode, we learned about a property called innerHTML that allowed for us to change content in between a pair of HTML tags. And you could argue that using this specific property, we could include new HTML and new content into the website using this property. However, using this property, we're also more prone to errors. So we shouldn't be using this in a HTML property in order to do so. Instead, we have to do something slightly more complicated called append or to append content to a website. Now, when it comes to appending content, we have two methods we can use. We have one that is an older method. And when I say old, I don't mean like as in we can't use it today because you definitely still can. Uh, but we have a older method that does work in all the different browsers, but it's slightly more complicated than the newer method. The newer method is much more simplified, but it doesn't work in all the different browsers that you might have out there. So I recommend that you go to Google and try to Google if that specific method does work today as you're watching this video in all the different browsers, because if it does, then I definitely recommend using the second method we're going to talk about in this video. Appending content is slightly more complicated than simply using inner HTML, but it is the proper way to do it. So it is the way we need to do it if we just need to insert one new element inside a website. So the way we do it is by first of all, using JavaScript, create the new element we want to insert into the DOM. Then we create the content we want to go in between the element that we just created. And then we need a separate method in order to just attach those two together. And then we need a fourth method in order to simply take the new element and insert into the DOM of the website. And during this process, I just explained, you're going to be learning three new methods in JavaScript that allow for us to actually do this. The first one is going to be called create element. The second one is going to be called create text node. And the third one is called append child. So there's a couple new methods here we're going to learn this episode. So as you can see in front of me here, I do have a example that we're going to be working with. And again, if you want my exact file, you can go and download it in the description on my Patreon. If not, then you can just go ahead and create something inside an HTML page that is, you know, just very blank like the one I have here. All I have is a div box that has a header in between it. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a link right below the header here. So as you can see inside my HTML, if I'm just going to go and zoom in so you can actually see it if this does actually work, there we go, is I have a div box that has a class attached to it called box. And inside the div box, you have an h1 tag. So what I want to do is I want to place a anchor tag right below the h1 tag that is going to work as a link inside the website. Now I'm going to use an anchor tag because I also want to demonstrate that we can attach attributes to our newly created element that we're going to insert inside the DOM here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the console and first of all, before we do anything, I would like to actually grab the div tag that we're going to be inserting elements into in this episode here, because when we do actually create this new element, we need to tell it what we need to insert it into. So just before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and create a let type variable. I'm going to call it box. I'm going to set it equal to document dot query selector. Then I'm going to select the class called box because that's the name of the div tag that we used in this episode here. And I'm just going to go ahead and close this off here. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to create the element that I want to insert inside the div tag here. So I'm going to create a new variable or a let type variable. I'm going to call this one new element. I'm going to set it equal to and then I'm going to say document dot create elements parentheses because this is a JavaScript method. And then inside the parentheses, I need to tell it what I want to create. What type of HTML tag are we creating here? So in this case, I want to create an anchor tag. So I'm just simply going to write a inside the double quotes. If you want to create a new div, you just write div in there. If you want to create a new paragraph, you just write p. So it's very simple to create a element using JavaScript. There's no hocus pocus here. So on the next line, what I want to do is I want to create the text node I need to put inside the element. So I'm going to create a new variable or a let type variable. I'm going to call this one new content. I'm going to set it equal to document dot create text node. As you can see, it pops up here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create the content I want to insert in between the anchor text. So if you want the anchor tag to have some kind of text inside of it, we can go and say this is a link exclamation mark. 
And then what we need to do is we need to actually put these two together because now we have an element, we have a text node, and now we need to fuse them together using JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say we want to grab the new element that we just created up here, new element. Then I'm going to say dot append child. So the way that append child works is that we need to refer to the element we want to insert something into, and then we say dot append child. And then inside the parentheses of append child, we take the content we want to insert into the first thing we referred to. So we have the element, and I want to insert the text node inside of it. So I just uh, simply need to refer to new content, like so. So now that we did this, we need to actually take the entire element that now has the text node inside of it, and put it inside our website. Because right now it's just hanging there, it's not really inserted into the website yet. So we need to use a pen child one more time. And like I said, we just simply refer to box because that's the thing we want to insert into dot append child. And then we take the new text node or the new element we just created called new element. And when I click enter, it's going to get inserted inside the website as a link. Now, if you want to include attributes inside this uh, element we just created, then we just simply use what we did in the previous episode, where we take our, uh, if we take the, the anchor tag we just created here, so we say new elements dot set attribute. Then we go in here and say we want to set a hyper reference because it's a link, so it needs a hyper reference. And I'm going to go ahead and set it to Google or something. Like so. Enter. And now, if you go back to the website, you can see that we have an anchor tag that has been inserted, and we also have a hyper reference that is inside the anchor tag as an attribute. So, this is how we create new content and put it inside a website using the old method. So what I went ahead and did here is I cleared everything inside the website because I want to show the new method. And again, remember, the new method is slightly more simplified, but doesn't work in all browsers as I'm making this video here. So go ahead and check out if it does in fact work in all browsers when you're watching this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the console and I want to do the same thing, but in a much more simplified way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click up on my keyboard. So go back to what we just did in the old method. And then I'm just going to go and change a few things in here just to show what exactly is going to be different from the old method. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, we need to still select the element we want to insert into. We still need to create a new element like we just did here. But when it comes to the two appending steps we do, where we append a text node and where we append the element and the text node together, we can sort of fuse that into one step. So to do this, I'm simply going to highlight the two steps that is going to be just one step. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the new element we just created, new element. And then I'm just going to go ahead and write append, parentheses. And then I'm going to insert the text node that I want to append to the element and also fuse together with the element inside the parentheses here. So we're doing two steps in one step. So it's not much more simplified than the old method, but it is slightly more simplified. So you could argue, you know, right now, as not all browsers are supported by it, it's probably just a better idea to take the old method for now. But just to show it, this is a link. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, now we have a link inside the website again. If I go back, you can see we have the anchor tag here, but we have no hyper reference. So again, we could just go back and simply insert a hyper reference using the set attribute uh, method that we have inside JavaScript. So this is how we append content inside a website. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.